It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central. And in today's video, I want to discuss where to best spend your energy when you're dealing with a campaign hero. Now, for those of you that don't know, I live stream every day, Monday through Friday. Uh, I've got the schedule posted on screen right now. And in yesterday's live stream, uh, live stream, Monday's live stream, the question was posed close to the end of the live stream. And this is something that I've been thinking about overnight. Uh, where where best to spend energy? Now, first, what specifically am I talking about? So I've got Astaroth floating around on screen here. And Astaroth is what we would call a campaign hero and that you can, you know, you can get his... You can get his uh, his soul stones from missions from the campaign. You can see here uh, magic thicket highlighted up in the top right. And uh, what's more, if you click on his character screen and then you click on the soul stone button, you can see that he has these three missions uh, available. And I think this is a uh, Facebook screenshot, so the the mobile and web screenshots might be different. The mobile and web locations where you get Astaroth soul stones might be different. And so the question that was posed was, do I spend energy on these missions to collect Astaroth soul stones or do I spend energy on these items here okay these items that promote the color of your hero from gray to green to blue to violet and then the different you know the different tiers in between you know blue plus one violet plus three all of that so um, let's let's quickly talk about what the difference is. Okay, let's quickly talk about what the difference is. First, let's talk about what happens when you collect soul stones or evolve a hero. So this is a screenshot from Orion. It's the you know I I, I know we're talking about Astaroth, but and, I, and Orion is not a campaign hero. But uh, Orion is the only hero that I had handy that I could evolve and get a screenshot of. And I'm not sure why I've never gotten a screenshot of this before. But you can see here, um, this Orion, whenever I evolve him from one star to two star, his strength per level goes up from three to four. This is strength per level, intelligence per level. So if he's level 72 here, you can see that his strength per level has gone up one. So he gets plus 72 strength by evolving this. His intelligence per level has gone up by three. So I gain 216 intelligence for uh, leveling this piece up. And you can see that his agility goes from three to four, which, you know, since strength and agility aren't primary stats for Orion, they only go up one. And you can see that it's, you know, it's plus 72. Now, the important thing to keep in mind, um, the important thing to keep in mind with this is not that you're missing out on these strength numbers or this intelligence numbers, or these agility numbers, if you evolve later on, if you evolve a hero at 110 versus level 72 here, okay? There, there, is, there is no difference in end stats, in, in total stats at the end. There's just, there's absolutely, absolutely no difference. So let's, let, let's touch on, let's touch on real quick what the stats mean since we're talking about stats. So um, first let's talk about strength. Strength gives you 40 points of health, okay? Every one strength gives you 40 points of health. Intelligence, every one intelligence gives you three magic attack and one magic defense. And this is no matter what hero you have, no matter what heroes in the game, one point of strength gives you 40 health, one point of intelligence gives you three magic attack and one point of magic defense, and one point of agility gives you one point of armor and two physical attack, okay? So the difference comes down to the main hero stat, right? So all of those are the same. Strength, agility, and intelligence, they're all the same with the exception of whatever the main stat is. And whatever the main stat is, you gain one bonus point of physical attack. If your main stat is intelligence and you gain one point of intelligence, you gain one point of physical attack additional. If your main stat is agility and you gain one agility, you get one more physical attack on top of the two you already get for that agility. And the same goes for strength. You get one extra physical attack if your hero strength is main stat on top of the 40 health that you get. <clears throat> so now that we kind of talk about this, and, and the power number at the bottom is completely ambiguous. It does not matter. It's just a number to kind of gauge your overall power level of that hero compared to other heroes in your lineup. It does not matter in an actual fight. Power level does not matter in an actual fight. So don't get caught up on that number down there. It looks big. It looks nice. Don't get caught up on that. And 
to, as a quick reminder, in order to evolve heroes, that is to promote their star level from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 6, which is absolute star, you need to collect hero soul stones. And you get campaign hero soul stones from the campaign missions. And here's a list again of the Astroth missions. And you can see, you know, Magic Thicket, this is what they look like whenever you, you know, whenever you're in the uh, in the campaign overworld screen or whatever, when you're picking what missions you're in. And then here is a list of the rewards from Magic Thicket. You can see here that the you have a chance of getting uh, an Astroth Soul Stone, some green boots, and, uh, and a gray hammer. Um, <clears throat> so the other side of this, the other side of this is promoting your color level. That is the green promote button right there. And in order to promote your hero, you need to collect these items. And you can see here I have highlighted Dark Grail on the bottom right. Okay, so you need to collect all six of these items. You need to build all six of these items in order to promote Astaroth to a higher level. So what, what does it take to get this Dark Grail piece? Well, first of all, we have... Um, you can see here that it's made up of two smaller pieces, a little red thing and a, and a loot. And I, and I could probably have gotten the names and written them down here. But you guys, if you're a new player, then, you know, just just know that the higher levels you get in the color ranking, the more items that will be required to, you know, to build these items and promote these heroes. But the sticking point. Well, actually, let's let's talk about the the um, the enchanted loot. You can see here that these uh, there are four locations in the campaign that I have access to in order to get access to this enchanted loot. And this is the crux of the question. This is the this is the big question: is do I spend energy on these missions to promote, you know, to collect these items to promote my hero, or do I spend energy on the hero soul uh, soulstone missions in order to evolve my hero? And the question the question does not have an easy answer. So. Whenever you're, whenever you're evolving your hero, we already know what stats you get. You get the, you know, the, the little bit of intelligence, strength, and, and, uh, and agility. But as you collect these items, you can see in the top left there that you get health and magic defense for this item. And other items will provide you with different things. And all you have to do is, is click, on, you know, click on the individual item there, and it will show you, it will show you, you know, which, which stats gives you what and again just to just to kind of show you here we're talking about this um excuse me <clears throat> dark grail and so you can see it gives health and magic defense so now my my astaroth here and this is this is kind of a wonky example but it, he's still level 72 and this is specifically why i chose the astaroth so astaroth at 72 if i were to evolve him to violet would gain you know i don't know one to three strength per level so we're talking you know 72 to uh, 216 strength total, right? So if you take 216, multiply that by 40, which is how much health you get, you get like 8,000 health. <laughs> if you promote this item, I'm not sorry, if you promote this hero by collecting this items, you can see you only get 800 health, okay? And of course, 80 magic defense. So it's significantly less health overall, but you gotta keep in mind that those three stats intelligence, strength, and agility only only modify your physical attack, your health, your armor, and your uh, magic attack and magic defense. And that's a lot of stats, but <clears throat> that's a lot of stats, but you got to also consider all the other things. You got to consider, you know, penetration. You got to percent uh, you know, dodge, critical hit. And the big thing, the big argument for promoting the color level instead of getting more stars for your hero is the glyphs right another aspect of leveling up your hero are the glyphs you have five glyphs for each hero and you can't get access to the to the fourth and fifth glyph unless you get to violet plus one and violet plus two as you can see i have shown here on my on my screenshot so then then the question is then it's even more math and it's even more math trying to figure out if getting access to you know these additional glyphs outweigh getting more strength, more intelligence, more agility for Astaroth. And it's a hard, you know, it's a it's a hard thing to math out in your head. It's a hard thing to give a give a straight answer for. It really it really just depends. It really just depends. But the most important reason why you want to promote the color level of your hero is the skills. Your actual skills. You can see that, you know, Astaroth has four skills. Everyone has four skills. 
uh, you have a gray, green, blue, and violet skill. You don't get access to those skills unless you're at least promoted to that color level. And you can see my Astaroth is blue here, so he only has access to Demon's, Al uh, Demon's Allegiance. Excuse me. He doesn't have Last Word yet. And for those of you that know about Astaroth, you know that Last Word, his Resurrect ability, is one of the big reasons why Astaroth is such a good tank. And in fact, many heroes in this game are terrible until you unlock that Violet ability. So... The, you know, then, then you got to then you got to think about you, you got to weigh access to a skill versus access to higher health or higher armor or higher magic attack or whatever you know whatever main stat you are even more difficult math to figure out even more difficult math to figure out so after chatting with several people yesterday after chatting with several people yesterday i i think i think it's important I think it's important to know, and and from what I understand, the promotion screen on mobile is a little different than the promotion screen on Facebook, so it's not as, it's not as obvious. There's not an easy answer. They both are really easy to get early on, you know, when you're when you're new to this game or a hero is new and fresh and you just you just got access to them. But they both slow down, evolving that hero all the way up to six stars, getting your you know your color promotions leveled up. They they really they really slow down, and I don't think that there's ever a point where you should stop focusing on one and only focus on the other. You know, except of course whenever you're Astaroth or whoever gets the absolute star. But I I think the math is I think the math is too hard to figure out. So this is what I would say. This is what I would say. I. I think that everyone should get to Violet as quickly as possible. I think everybody should work on getting access to that Violet skill as quickly as possible. In fact, I would say probably work on getting to Violet plus two as well. Having those glyphs, having those additional glyphs leveled up, for the most part, is going to be a huge impact on your hero. The Soul Stones will come. There are plenty of events. There are plenty of opportunities in order for you to get access to Soul Stones, and they're always going to be there. They're just they're always going to be there. So what I do personally is I try to, you know, I try to do three to six uh, to nine hero missions of the hero that I'm trying to level up, and then I spend the rest of my energy working on promoting a different hero, uh, their 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 stats and abilities. So it's it's. It's, it's hard. It's hard to break this down objectively because the math doesn't line up easily at every point. And then you have to start taking into account the Violet skill. And some heroes have good fifth glyphs and some heroes have terrible, you know, fifth glyphs. Meaning, you know, you don't need to get to Violet plus two for this hero because their fifth glyph isn't necessary. Um, so it's it's really hard to say. So I, I, I hope that this video... I hope that this video cleared up some things. Um, I get this question a lot, and like I said, it was it was posed to me in my uh, my live stream yesterday. But I, I feel like after I've done this video, things things actually might be even more <laughs> even more confusing now that I've kind of looked back over my notes. So I hope I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from here, and and we're gonna talk about it a little bit more in my live stream today. Uh, so why don't you you know if you wanna if you wanna discuss a little bit more, I will be live at 12 p.m. Central Time today, uh, live streaming for about an hour or so. So uh, won't you won't you hang out with us? But um, until then, I love you all and good luck in Dominion.